Hey Calvary, my name is Pastor Sean and I get to share today's word for the day. Today's word for the day is from Genesis 30 verses 25 through 30. And at this point in the Genesis story, we are following around the character of Jacob. He's just gotten done with years of servitude to someone named Laban. And you see, he worked for him in order to marry one of his daughters named Rachel. And for years, Jacob worked and worked as a sheep and goat herder for this man named Laban. Only at the end of his contracted time with Laban, he got swindled. And you see, Laban gave him another one of his daughters to marry instead of the woman Jacob had grown to love. So in order to actually receive Rachel's hand in marriage, he had to sign on for many more years of service. And you can imagine Jacob would be a little bitter towards this man. And that's pretty much where our story starts off. See, Jacob is finishing his many years of servitude to Laban and he has received Rachel as his bride, but he still felt like he was swindled by Laban. You see, in this chapter, Jacob basically swindles Laban back. He does some sheep and goat herding jujitsu and basically commandeers all of the strong and healthy animals from him, and a lot of them at that. But here's the deal. Jacob is a terrible example of how someone who follows God should act. I'm just going to say what I'm thinking here. Two wrongs don't make a right. In this story, Jacob basically takes vengeance into his own hands and here's the issue. This is not what God has called any of us to do. The hard part with this story is that he was successful in swindling Laban and God doesn't condemn him for it. I don't have time to get into the finer details of this, but here's what I can tell you. This is not how we are supposed to act. Proverbs 20, 21 through 23 tells us this, an inheritance claimed too soon will not be blessed at the end. Do not say, I'll pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord and he will avenge you. In verse 23, the Lord detests differing weights and dishonest scales. Do not please him. If you feel like you've been wronged at any point in your life, past, present, or future, we have to take it to God. It's more important that our integrity stays intact than we take revenge on the people around us. God knows when we are being taken advantage of. God knows when scales are unfair and set against us. Trust God to take vengeance or trust God to change the hearts of those who are wronging you. And trusting God with this, it stops us from doing some mental jujitsu and justifying doing wrong to the others around us because they've wronged us. Jesus tells us in Matthew 5, verses 38 through 42, you've heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, but I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. You see, when our hearts are not set on godly things, when you, our hearts are in bad places, we try to take payback into our own hands. But we need to operate in the newness of Jesus Christ with a new heart and a new spirit that can remind you of Jesus' words to turn the other cheek and allow God to handle the situation. Don't trust your own swindling ways like Jacob did. Instead, trust God. Be blessed, Calvary.